All right. Welcome to another episode of So You Want to Be an Owner Operator? Just another OTR guy. Uh, today, tonight, we are going to be doing door speakers for the Kenworth T680. Uh, should be a pretty simple swap. Uh, we're going to take the old ones out, cut the wires, uh, re-splice. The, the new adapters to the speakers and we are going to put them in. Let's get to it. All right, so we got our new speakers. These are just Walmart specials. Nothing nothing crazy, but they are uh, 250 watt peak, whereas these are 100 watt peak, so they should at least be an upgrade of what I've had going. Uh, the things you'll need screwdriver. I got a flathead to get this panel off. Uh, crimper for my new uh, speaker wires. The adapter pieces that come with the speakers. Uh, some Lysol to clean up because this truck is still pretty new to me. I just bought it. Uh, the guy who had it before was very dirty and had a dog so there's probably all kinds of shit in here. Uh, got my screw gun to take off the, uh, the, actually the old speaker. And I got my Walmart special plier kit and some shrink tube and heat if you want to do your uh, wire splicing with shrink tube. All right, let's see if we can get this off and go from there. All right, so we're gonna take our plate off. It's just easy, going easy on the plastic. Little twist, twist. Oh yeah, it's dirty back there. Twist. Boom. Boom. And off. Ew. <laughs> Yummy. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some nice crap on there. Yuck. Alright, we got our old paper 4x6. And we will undo it and we will definitely clean this shit up. All right, let's get to it. This regular Phillips head. Boom. Got a magnetic tray that I just bought today, which is nice. Keep that shit all together. It's four. take my flathead, pull this out, there's a plug right up here, just needs a, a little flathead push, and now our speaker is out. These are four by sixes by the way, uh, you can get them at Walmart or whatever, as long as they're not too deep for the door panel, you're good. So now what we're going to need to do is get, we're going to cut this wire right here, is this adapter piece is for the stock speakers. And we're going to splice the new adapter pieces I showed you, this guy. And we're going to plug our new ones in, screw them in, and we're done. Let's see. All right, we cleaned it up a little bit. I clipped off the, uh, the black lining there, the little sleeve, and now, as far as this goes, we could there's, we could do it two ways. We could poke this, slide this out, and unpull them, or we can just clip it and see. There goes the slidey thing. So I clipped it, I kind of just stuck it right back there, uh, just for now, because I am not 100% certain on which one's positive and which one's negative. I'm thinking green is positive and blue.
loop is negative, but I'm gonna crimp them with wire cutters, uh, wire splicers, and I'm just gonna wrap them and plug them in and see if I get some juice. Like I said, not a professional. <laughs> so we're going to grab that. Up there, uh, grab, uh, pull, and repeat. Uh, there, grab, and pull. Okay. Now, let's take our new guy. Sorry if the angle sucks, I don't have any way to hold up the camera. I feel like it's far away. Gotta do the same thing with these, crimp. All right, so I twisted them on just to give it a little speaker test. We have got our black line negative. On. And our positive on. These are a pitch to take off. But we've got it on. And we're going to do a little test. Be right back. All right. Oh, I don't know the lyrics that far. All right. Now let's do it right and clean it up. All right. So now that we know our speaker is working, I've got my 14, 16 uh, gauge butt connectors. And I have slid on some 532nd shrink tube onto uh, the wire here. So we're gonna connect the butt connectors uh, to these wires, crimp them down, slide the, the shrink tube over it, and apply some heat, and we will be beautiful. Be right back. All right, so I had to go larger with the shrink tube because I forgot about the size of the butt connector. So we. We've got our negative butt connector on. So now we're gonna do our positive. Gonna fold it over just a little bit. Cause it's real skinny gauge. Now, put that there. On. Squeeze the shit out of it. Squeeze it again. <clears throat> on. All right. So we got that on. Slide our other shrink tube through. All right, boom. We are set up. These are our plugs for our speakers. And I'm trying to make this not be a super long video. All right, so we've got negative, boom. Ours was the blue. So negative to negative. Blue. Trying to be able to see. Squeeze. Squeeze. On. Positive. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> On. Alright. Be right back. All right, so most people say to do, or you know, a lot of people you use a, a heat gun with shrink wrap, but I don't have a heat gun on me. All I have is my torch, so I'm gonna do it at a low level. There we go. Gonna turn it way the fuck down. All right, we're just gonna give it some juice. Drink 
shrink it up. Shrink it up. Keep shrinking it up. This ain't perfect, but it's something. bit of an electrical tape wrap on that and then we should be good to install it all right got it on so now let's reconnect got our negative if I can get it on negative We have our positive. Slide the plastic down. Stick that back in. Now we got our Sony. Sony in there. Oh. Bam. Nope, not me. There we go. Phillips head. cleaned up all that grate too because it was driving me crazy with the crap and that's it boys and girls we close up some of our shit it's my shrink wrap tube case you can get it at uh, truck stops Walmart everything like that and where'd my grate go there it is sorry for how long this is but that's it we're done Put the pops back on. Oh, manhandling it. Get back in done to repeat on the other side and you are finished see ya